97.5 Now FM Lansing Sit Music Station. I am Max hanging out with you up till 7. You can uh, hit me up on Twitter. I am Max on your radio or Facebook. I am Max on air. And this weekend, I just talked with Selena Gomez while she gets ready for her big revival tour. And I got to ask her all about her new revival tour. What's going on with it? It's been intense. We're kind of, we're starting with, you know, an hour of vocal, hour of piano, five to six, seven hours of dance. And kind of putting all the visuals together at the moment. It's it's really been fun, honestly. Well, then what's the one big thing you're really excited about uh, for the Revival Tour? Well, first off, I mean, the stage is just aesthetically, it's really beautiful and very different than anything I've done before. But it's just, it's, it's obviously, this album and this year for me has been such a huge transition period. And that's been, you know, a lot of vulnerable moments. That's been a lot of me just kind of being honest with where I'm at and uh, unapologetic for it. So it's kind of been fun. Uh, I honestly just want to pour everything I have into the tour. We were talking about her most recent song, Hands to Myself, went to number one. Now she has Kill Em With Kindness. And Selena, do you know when that is going to be coming out? I'm not sure. I mean, I think that's what we're kind of gearing up for. But I've been in the studio at the moment um, already working on new stuff. I I can't wait to celebrate Revival, but it's been fun to feel like I'm already moving towards other things. But Kill Him With Kindness is lyrically my favorite song I put on the record, and just I, I definitely can't wait to be able to have that have a story. So wait, you're working on new stuff already? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, I was, after everything started happening with the tour, I just felt, I don't know, I called Justin Tranter and Julia Michaels, who are two writers that did half the album with me, and I just said, let's go back in the studio. I just feel like I need to get some stuff out, and I think I have ideas, and we've been in the studio just kind of working on stuff. Well, like, when you get a new idea or a new song idea in your head, what do you do? Do you go to the studio immediately? Do you write it down? What's your uh, process with making a new song? I like to be, I like to talk it out with people that I, I trust, and, you know, I've, I've found a group of people, just a handful of people that I've really connected to, whether they're producers or writers, and uh, I feel like whenever I go into the studio, it kind of just happens. I don't I don't have anything I'm writing down to then go in the studio and say, hey, this is, I've got it figured out. I like figuring it out as I go. I always like to see that you are huge on social media. You're Instagram now. You're, you're one of the most followed people on Instagram. You have 71 million followers. How... It, can you even fathom that? Whenever you put a picture out, you're like, I think I'm going to get like a million people liking this. I don't know. It's really funny. I mean, I I just, I've had Instagram for a while and I genuinely just enjoy it just like everyone else. And then I have moments where it drives me crazy and I mm-hmm. need to delete it because it's, <laughs> it's like I, I would get too invested. So I just, I don't know. I don't think about it. I, I'll respond. I'll like things. I'll not be on it for a while. I just kind of do, I just take it day by day. I'm on like somebody's cousin's best friend's page <laughs> and I'm 44 weeks in for sure. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that I don't do that. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes it's it's like I, I got to take a break from it too. It's like intense. Yes, I'm sure a lot of us have to take a break from uh, social media here and again, but I always like to ask artists this question. What is your favorite song on the radio right now, or what song is your favorite song that you would want to have had to have recorded? Oh, that's tough. I I, I feel like everybody's kind of doing such their own thing, which I love. I love when music is different and everybody's doing their own thing. So, I mean, I don't know. I... I loved Rihanna's new stuff. She's so, uh, I like consideration. Oh, it's not even on the radio, so it's not even an answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that's I all right. music. I, I don't know. There's not anything I wish I would have done, but there's music that's really good right now. Well, then who would you like to team up with then, I guess, if you could have a dream oh, team up? I, I mean, I would love to team up with, like, uh, like, I love Pharrell. I think he's super talented. I love Justin Timberlake. I kind of... I don't know. I mean, there's tons of people who I admire that I'd love to work with. Well, and I think if you did a video with Pharrell, it would be very fashionable since he, you know, breaks out all the new fashions that are around. No, so, totally. He's yeah, that would... talented in every area of his life, I think. Uh, you were talking about the stage setup and, and everything else. Do you, do you have the routine ready and, and everything ready? Because I know you still got another month and maybe, like, I think six weeks until it starts, right? Yeah, we're actually we're in the middle of that. So I've learned a couple of routines, for sure. yeah, but we're just kind of still in the beginning stages. So it's fun, though. I mean, it's going to be good. I, I can't wait for I just I can't wait for it to be done and to be on the road.
Well, and speaking of that, what's your favorite thing to do on the tour bus or while you're going from city to another city? What's your favorite thing to do off the stage? Play games or watch movies. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my vibe. I'm pretty boring, I gotta be honest. <laughs> you're not you're not a Netflix junkie? You don't do Netflix binges or anything? Yeah, kind of, but not, I mean, I, I think I'll probably get hooked on something when I'm on the road. Well, that'll do it for us, Celine. I know you got a lot of things to do for your tour, so I hope everything goes great uh, for the rest of the way into your tour, and we'll be happy to see you here coming through June 24th when you come to Michigan. Hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. Cool.